And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a PHP transition. A simple effect that you can use for slideshows or presentations. I wouldn't want to use it for music videos or all these typical video editing projects. But as I've said for slideshows, presentations or something, you might want to consider that. And here's how you can do it. It's fairly simple. I've got two images and under effects just type in page and you've got two options. There's the page peel and the page turn. And the difference is quite simple. Let me show you the page peel first. I drag and drop it onto my two photos in the timeline. If you can't find this window, just go to window and click on effects. And we also need the effect controls. So if you can't see that, you will find that here as well. Make sure you've got the transition selected and then you can see this window in the effect controls. So A and B are just the two files, in this case, the two photos. And there's our page peel transition. And it starts at the top left. So with every frame, it gets peeled a little bit more. We can change the alignment right here with the drop down and above the duration. By default, it's a second. I'll keep that centered at the cut, just like this. To the left of it, we can change the direction. So right now, it starts from the top left, as I've said. Let me select the top right. And we can also use the bottom, so bottom left and bottom right. I'll stick with the top left. We've got these two sliders as well for A and B. So we can adjust the starting and end position. By default, it's all the way. But if I adjust the slider, we can start at a completely different point. And it kind of like cuts the start of the peeling and the end above the two A and B placeholders. You will see the start and end, and you can use specific numerical values instead of these sliders. There are also two boxes to check. The first one is just for the preview window. So when we want to see the actual source instead of A and B, we can check that. And the second one is to reverse this page peel. And that's about it for this effect. The page peel has this grayish background and the page turn is basically the same. But it gives the backside the original footage. So in this case, the image. You can see that if I replace the peel with the turn, it's now an image instead of just a grayish background. And this is how you can create this page peel or page turn transition in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.